morning, you're watching FloridaDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. We're at Surfaces 2018, and I'm with John Wu, the president and CEO of Novalis. John, how you doing? I'm good. How are you doing, Kemp? I'm great. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too. A little background on Novalis. Most people should know this, but Novalis is a major, major supplier of LVT and the variations of LVT that are made out there. You got started 30 years ago, I think, uh, bringing major amounts of products in on an OEM basis to some of the bigger brands here in this country. You still do that now, and now you have your own Novafloor brand that you bring here as well, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, We've, we've had this brand for uh, over 10 years now. Uh -huh. uh, every year we're trying to make a bigger push, and this is by far one of the biggest push we've made this year. So. Yeah, and you yeah. started with just you know, LVT, uh, again, major player out of Shanghai, and then you got into the rigid core business, Yes. And uh, and you just continue to evolve that, right? Yes, yeah. And uh, as everybody knows, uh, LVT is a fastest growing category. And uh, we started making, uh, you know, glue down LVT and slowly evolve it into loose leg, click LVT. And now uh, in, the, in the rigid realm, there's WPC, there's SPC. So we essentially make everything under the spectrum of LVT right now. Do you think you're the fastest grow growing supplier in the business? Uh, I wouldn't say so. I, there's many people that fast, grow faster than us, but I think we are, you know, we are a, a very cautious, steady player in this game, and you know, we're here for the long haul, not a fly-by-night company. So that's how we differentiate ourselves. You know, we hear about people, domestic uh, production, people invested in that, and, and yet we hear you also in, in Asia, in Shanghai, you're spending 35 million dollars on expansion there. So I'm, yeah. I'm thinking you're feeling like that uh, the demand is going to continue for you. Yes, yeah, I think LVT still have much room to grow. Uh, we essentially have outgrown our capacity over the last uh, years or so. We can see it, we're going to need more capacity. And uh, so building in China seems to make sense for us at this stage. And uh, so, yeah, it, uh, we're not the only one. You know, many people are expanding in China, but we see ourselves as, uh, you know, really investing in some new technology, try to bring some new product to the market. So. You know, one of the ways in winning with LVT is the digital image. Uh, how do you do so well with that? Because, I mean, you look at these floors here and they're excellent. I mean, you see these grays and these trend colors and uh, the right amount of um, embossed and registered and everything. Uh, do, do you have a whole team of designers or how do you pull that off? Yes, I actually have a very good uh, product development team, design team. Uh, we also go around into uh, different uh, in European markets in China to look for different designs. and We work with different designers as well known in the industry. Every year we literally spend probably $20,000, you know, $200,000 worth of uh, uh, money on developing new designs to, uh, to satisfy our own needs and as well as uh, some of our other customers' needs. So, Is it difficult to make sure that what you offer through Novafloor looks different than what you offer through some of your OEM programs? Oh, we always protect our customers, so uh, everything uh, we, we differentiate it, so, uh, uh, both in terms of designs and structure. And uh, uh, clearly, LVT plays part in uh, both commercial, residential, so you're going to have to invest in really a breadth of different design to, uh, to cover all those aspects. Yeah, you know, since this is a residential show, I haven't even mentioned, but you have a commercial brand as well, right? Yes, I have a commercial brand called Ava, and uh, that's been going quite well as well. So. Okay, so let's talk about B. I guess that's the, the new brand uh, that you're talking about now, right? Right. Uh, B is the, uh, the latest product we launched under our Nova Floor banner. And uh, it's a uh, SPC product, uh, which is a now stands for solid polymer core. Yeah. So everybody has the same understanding of what this means now. Uh, it still falls into the rigid category, right. and uh, uh, but you know we've put some development and research into it. It's a 5.5 millimeter product uh, that comes in some very unique sizes. Uh, it comes with pre-attached underlayment. We put all the bells and whistles on top of it. It's antimicrobial. It's anti-scratch, and it's uh, it's really one of the best product in the market. Mm -hmm. And uh, we very some some very unique design and visuals and uh, formats. What is the underlayment? Uh, it's a, a pre-attached IXP underlayment. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. So that's that. It's that black uh, cushiony. It's that black cushiony thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. But it works well for the market. So. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So, and uh, so you're showing that here at the show. Do you have uh, a lot of styles you're offering with that? Uh, it comes into a multiple of uh, design, both in, uh, in wood and stone. Uh, we now have a really unique design, it's 12 by 36. We see that as a new format in stone that's coming up. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're putting that into place. All the woods are with uh, embossing registration. Uh, it's very realistic embossed, you know, you can touch and feel it. And uh, uh, this is really very nice, yeah. Okay, so for looking at uh, talking to the customers that you have and looking at 2018, you think it's going to be a good year for you? Uh, yes, I'm, absolutely. Uh, 2018 will be one of our best years, I'm pretty certain of that. And uh, 
Uh, I think the whole industry is actually feeling quite a bit of momentum. I think, you know, just starting the show now, I can feel people are very interested in uh, growing a business this year. Yeah, I can feel the energy as well. Yeah. It's great to talk to you, John. Again, been talking to John Wu, the president and CEO of Novalis. It surfaces 2018, and you've been watching Kempar and FloorDaily.net.